people. Today we are going to do Celtic Labyrinth, also known as Byzantine Diamond. Um, very simple, but very effective. I'm going to use three ring sizes, all 18 SWG. I'll put the sizes in the description, so it's not a problem. Uh, originally attributed to Laura over in Handmaiden Designs. It makes a really nice shape, really nice pair of earrings. I'll we'll put them together for a bracelet, which I'll show you how to do. So let's get started. So what we want to do first is close up eight of the medium rings. Okay, then we're going to take a large ring. And we're going to thread all eight of these little rings, medium rings even. We're going to put them all on that large ring. So we got that. Okay. And what we're going to do is these are going to become sets of two. And we want to make those sets of two with more medium rings. So pick two, any two, and put another medium ring in there, like so, and then double that ring up. So find him again, there he is. Put another one in there. Okay, open up another medium ring, find the one we just did, and then put a medium through, ring through the two next to it. And double that up. Okay, and just repeat the process. Just find the next two loose ones. And put one through there. And again. And then you should have one set left. There, that's them little dudes. And double up that last one. Find which one has got one in, there. Put another one in there. go. So what you'll have now is your large ring and then four two by twos coming off like that. So the next thing now is we're basically going to do a little bit of Byzantine. Take one of the sets, fold the one ring towards you and the one ring behind you, the ones we've just placed. Separate those and put a fresh ring through the two there. Like that. And then we want to put another one in the same place. that. So we've got a Byzantine unit, which is again, well, I say again, this is why it's called the Byzantine diamond, as well as Celtic labyrinths. So we're going to do it on the same on the next set. So fold those ones back on each other, separate there, and put one through there. Wonky closure alert. There you go. And 
another one. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the next one. So that one's done. That one's done. Let's do this bad boy next. Flip that one towards you. That one away from you. Separate to reveal those two rings there. And a ring through. Like that. And double that ring up. And then we've got one more to do. One more little Byzantine segment. Almost, almost there. Dead easy, guys, dead easy. Right, so what you've got now is a large ring with four little Byzantine bits coming off it, like so. And then, we're gonna take our small ring, four per unit, Four little ditties. I'll just open those up. One, two, three. I was going to fast forward through these bits, but then if you're wanting to chainmail along with me, I might as well keep going. So we've got our four littlies. What we want to do is, where's my pointy stick? There's my pointy stick. Right, so what we want to do now is we're going to put a small ring and we're going to capture those two from that point and those two from that one. So where you've got your Byzantine section, you've got two on the left and two on the right. So those two on the left are going to be attached to the two on the right of the other one. Okay, so let's do that now. So one, two, three, four, and do him up. So you've got that there. Take another one move him around and do the same again on this one. So you've got your two of the left that were from that one, attach him to the two on the right, which is the left of the other one, if you catch my drift. Like so. So here we go again. There's the two that are left from the pre from the previous one, and we want to use the two on the right from this one. Oh, got a bit of the shakes there. I'm hungry, really hungry actually. And then to finish him off, push the four remaining rings together. them up oh I really am shaky I have to go and get a nice pasty now in a minute and close that one up and there you have it Celtic Labyrinth also known as Byzantine Diamond now they make a smashing pair of earrings just on their own or show you how to join them which is really simple take the small rings two of and open them up and then join them at the corners 
So here's one that obviously that I've started. Just put that through one of the small corners of the new piece and join them to a corner of an existing one. Like that. Okay, and take your other corner and join. And that's it. Look at that. Beautiful. Big and chunky and delicious. Ta-da!